All right, in this equation, we have ZnSO4 plus NaOH, zinc sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. This is a double displacement reaction. So to balance it, we're gonna use a bit of a trick that'll help us do that. So let's start out. We have one zinc atom, and then this sulfate, SO4, we have it here and here. It stays together in the reaction, so we're just gonna say we have one sulfate, and that'll simplify the balancing. We have one sodium, and OH, that's a hydroxide. We have it here and here, so we just say we have one hydroxide. That's a lot simpler. On the product side, we have one zinc, one sulfate, two sodium atoms, and then one hydroxide times two. So we have two of those. Now, when we look at the equation, it's pretty simple to balance. We just need to double the Na and the OH. So we have two of each of these to balance that. Put a two here. Now we have one times two. That's two. One hydroxide times two. That's two. And we're done. This equation, it's balanced. So you can see the utility when you have a polyatomic ion like SO4 here and on the other side, just count it as one thing. It saves a lot of time. It's usually more accurate and it gives you the same answer. This is Dr. B. Big shout out to Z Gaming for alerting me to this equation. Thanks for watching.